What's the best way to streamline communication with your team? Hi, this is Elliot from Workload. In this video, we'll be building a workflow starting with an email matching a specific search term in Gmail. And then we're going to forward the contents of that email to a Slack channel message. All right, let's build a workflow. So we're going to give our workflow title. So this is going to be Gmail search to Slack. Because this workflow is not just going to forward all of our emails to a Slack channel message. It's going to forward emails matching a specific search term. So I'm going to click inside of my trigger box. and I'm going to pick Gmail. And my event is going to be new email matching a search. If you see in our list of events anything with a legacy in parentheses, that means uh, you shouldn't use that for any new workflows. But if that already is existing within an old workflow, it's going to keep on working. I'll click continue. Make sure I'm connected to my Gmail account. So now this is where I'm going to put in what search terms I want to trigger this workflow. So this is going to be new order. So any email that has the phrase new order in it is going to be found here in our trigger. And then that is what's going to be sent to Slack. So this is a new order email about a product that we sold. So that's what I want to forward to my team. And I can see all this information is um, outside of an array. So I can go directly to step two. So I'm going to click continue. And for my action, I'm going to go to Slack. And I'm going to send a channel message. Click continue. Make sure I'm connected to my Slack account. The channel that I want to send this on is my test channel. The message text is going to be all the details of that order. And the bot name will be the subject, which is that new order. So whenever I receive another email with that subject of new order, it's going to send the details of that order in this Slack channel message. I have the option of adding an emoji or an icon or of putting this in the thread that already exists, but I'm going to go ahead and leave those blank. So then we'll test this action. We have a success. I can jump over to Slack and see that that message with the details from the email and the subject as the bot name has been sent in my test channel. So everything's working the way it should. Can come back over to the workload editor, make sure there's a green dot in the corner of each one of my nodes. And if I'm happy with my workflow setup, I can turn it on to activate it. And now every time I get an email that matches that new order search term, it will send the details of that message as a Slack channel message. So that's an easy way to send all of your emails matching a certain search term as a channel message in Slack. Please like and subscribe to this video to get more content from Workload about how to make your business practices flow more smoothly. And I'll see you next time.